Everybody, 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 get ready for you. Go in, 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 go This is Karita Parts with Bowie Television at M&T Bank Stadium where the Baltimore Ravens successfully got the victory over the Cincinnati Bengals with a 34-20 win on Thursday night football. Although it was a win, there is some major news out of this game. Tight end Mark Andrews, who went down in the first quarter, it has been confirmed that he has a season-ending ankle injury. Lamar Jackson, that's his right-hand man, so he reacted to the news with sadness, but he did say that they still have to find a way to get it done without him. And they will be able to do that because we saw tonight Lamar Jackson got his receivers more involved. Odell Beckham Jr. had his first game over 100 yards. Rashad Bateman, who's been waiting for his first touchdown of the season, he was able to get that. Zay Flowers almost had a touchdown, but Nelson Aguilar, he had a touchdown as well. Gus Edwards on the uh, had a rushing touchdown. So after that, Lamar Jackson was able to spread the ball throughout his offense, and he's going to have to do a lot more of that going forward with the news of Mark Andrews being injured after the game Odell Beckham Jr. who left late in the fourth quarter with a shoulder injury he did still speak to media John Harbaugh said it's not anything serious but one thing that Beckham said is that he felt the receivers were due for a big game and for the most part they had that tonight and the chemistry can only get better going forward as they all hope the team has a couple of days off and then they're back at it at practice next week as they get ready to face the Los Angeles Chargers on the road. This is Karita Parts with Bowie Television. Be sure to follow us for all your Ravens content. appreciate the opportunity to play a game like this and for the opportunity to be victorious. I also want to give credit to the fans. Uh, our fans were really great. I mean, our fans were loud. They had to take the late games. They had a tough time communicating out there. Uh, they couldn't get lined up numerous times as a result.
the crowd noise. I mean, our fans were there. It was fun. It was a great environment to be in. The stadium people that put the stadium together and all the, all the fireworks and lights and everything else and darkness. It was really just an amazing, amazing night. It was just a fun night in Baltimore. So our team played exceptionally well, and I'm proud of them for uh, finding a way to, to win this game and play their best football. I do have one injury announcement to make, unfortunately, on the negative side. Mark Andrews has a very serious ankle injury. It looks like a season-ending injury. So uh, our prayers will be with Mark. He, uh, nobody cares more about the team. and. Uh, being there for the guys and Mark Andrews, so it's going to be hard for him, but we're going to be there for him all the way. Okay, what questions do you have? John, um, it's also looked like that Lamar was battling through an ankle injury. How impressed were you that he was gutting it out through and not being 100%? Very impressive. I mean, the ankle, you know, over there on the sideline when that deal happened and uh, bounced back and played the way he did and still, still have some mobility with hanging there and make those throws. It's, it's, Press its brain. So I don't know any details of that. With your running game, you only had 30 yards rushing in the first half, and you really got to go in the second half. Was there changes, a commitment, different commitment to it? How do you explain what you got going there? No, I mean, sometimes, you know, the defense did a good job. You know, they, they played good run defense, and I thought they made some plays. And, uh, you know, second half, we opened it up a little bit. So it's just, you got to keep, you got to keep pounding and keep smashing in there. And our guys were blocking hard, and it opened up for them. Go ahead. Mark goes down. Hey, hey. Uh, it was kind of a group effort in the receiving core. I mean, Maiden gets in the end zone, Nelson gets in the end zone, o Odell over 100. Uh, how big was it just to kind of have everybody involved in the action? Yeah, that's that's a good point. I guess we're both making that point. I mean, just to, that's what we wanted. I mean, that's kind of part of the plan. We want to be able to spread it around, give Lamar options like that. Lamar does a really good job of seeing the field and spreading the ball to where the ball's supposed to go. And, and then we got a bunch of guys that are able to do something with it. So, you know, I, 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 you look at Bateman, the catch he made in the end zone. Uh, you look at Odell, the plays he made. Uh, of course, I think. I think uh, Zay set a record, you know, for a rookie receive, receiver ever. Uh, I just thought all those guys played outstanding. Even then, the young tight ends came in there. I mean, uh, Charlie got a catch, and, uh, and Isaiah played really well too. I was just going to say, uh, you know, I hate to bring Mark's injury back up, but what kind of hole does that leave strategically for your team, and also in the locker room as a leader among the guys? Well, it's definitely, it's definitely something that we're gonna have to fill in, you know. And I think, like you said, it's gonna be kind of like a, I don't know, maybe it's like sand or water, you know. Everybody's gonna have to fill that hole in and just smooth it over, and that's what they'll do. I think those tight ends are gonna do great. I mean, those guys work hard every day; they're very talented, uh, you know. But everybody else is gonna have to step up as well. And as a leader, he's gonna be missed as a leader. I mean, he's a fiery, emotional guy. He's he's a, he's a he's an energy bringer, you know, every single day. So. We're going to all have to make up for that, too. John, there is, I don't know if it's too early and you haven't been able to look at the play, but on the tackle by, by the Cincinnati defender, it looked like it was a hip drop tackle, which is a controversial type of tackle, I guess, and, and it's been talked about. Um, is that representative to you at all of, of hip drop tackles, or have you noted that at all? Well, yeah, it was definitely a hip, hip drop tackle, to your point, and uh, it is being discussed. It's, it's a tough tackle. You know, it was even necessary in that situation. Uh, the other one on the sideline, you know, there, there's always plays that you send in uh, to the league to have them look at and interpret for you. John, speaking of injuries, Joe Burrow obviously goes out and come back in the second half. How does that sort of impact or change his defense for you guys in terms of what you were able to do? Well, I think our defense played outstanding. You played against their offense. You know, you played against the fact that uh, they run the same offense with whatever quarterback is in there. They kept running their offense. And uh, he got out of the pocket a few times, too. I, I, thought, I thought Brown did a good job. In that sense, but our defense played outstanding again, you know, led by this guy and all the other guys. Pat was all over the field. He had uh, 11, 12 tackles. And uh, I thought we did a great job with the, the zone pass coverage as far as running and tackling and keeping the ball in front. We didn't miss very many tackles at all. A lot of good tackling. Nothing got over our head. Our guys are going to be, you guys are mad about the last drive, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're ticked about the last drive in there right now. That's what they're looking at that. So they've already got the pads out, I think, looking at it. So I, I love that. I love that about these guys. So. Uh, but yeah, it's tough when you lose your quarterback. That's uh, we've had some experience with that, especially against this team. So it's part of it. John, really you, John, you moved to twenty and three at home in prime time, eight and zero on Thursday night specifically. What about playing under lights at home is impactful for you guys to be so successful, and specifically on a short week like Thursday night football? Yeah, we just experienced some, some good favor, I guess, at home at night. You know, and uh, it was uh, our crowd's amazing at night. You know, it's it's a. And it's, I think our state, like I said, our stadium people do a great job. It was just a tradition here. You know, these night games here are special. We'd like to get a few more of them, you know. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, 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 it was an electric atmosphere out there. John, and the, yeah, best, John, the, job that, uh, the job that Brandon Stevens did on the chase um, with New Marlin, again, does that just sort of speak to the kind of player he's become this year? He did a great job. You know, we did play, we played a little bit of man coverage out there quite a bit. And uh, I thought I thought everybody did a good job. And, and, and Brandon, Brandon, you know, he's before the game, I saw him kind of getting off by himself and he knew the challenge that he was, that he was going to be faced with. And he just did a phenomenal job and keeps stepping up meets every challenge. Related to uh, Kyle Hamilton, you know, he goes from safety, you guys who play a lot of slot, he was real active, and I broke up a couple of those passes to Chase, if I'm not mistaken. How have you seen him grow into the player he is now? Yeah, I just agree, gets better every game. We, again, we put more on his plate every single game. But he was, see, a lot of the times what we were doing was we were showing some, some zero pressure and some uh, different type of loaded zero pressures, and uh, we brought a couple of them, but then we ran out of them a few times, and I thought he was the main guy in terms of selling to the skies. He did a great job. John, so o Odell uh, had the breakout game, as you mentioned, but he leaves with the injury. If, do you guys know if he did get out of that series? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You know, I'm sure it'll be something else to deal with. Uh, these guys all have stuff to deal with, but it doesn't look too bad. John, did you get an explanation for the two administrative stoppages there? And what did you say? Uh, yeah, there was drones. <laughs> we heard there was drones. Is that what you guys heard? Yeah. We yeah. saw them up there, drones. That's the first. I mean, I, I, we, we went, I, I, I thought I'd seen it all at the Super Bowl. The lights were on the Super Bowl. <laughs> now we got drones flying around. And then you, you mentioned Lamar and just taking care of him. The way that he's going to the ground, is that something that you've talked about with him, Todd? Like, how is, how's that going? He wouldn't listen anyway. I mean, you know, he, kind of, he does how he does it. But, no, he, he made some smart plays there as far as getting out. Dante Oe has four sacks in five games since he came back from his ankle. Does he really? Yeah. Should have given him a game ball. He's going to be mad at him. <laughs> Just wait to see him from him. He's playing great. His energy, he runs around, he chases screens down. I mean, I, I, I love Dante Oe. He, he's one of my favorite players, people. I just love how much he cares. You know, we got a bunch of guys like that. I just, I, I, I go on about our players. I'm telling you, these guys are a special group of guys, you know, and I, I, you, know, you guys would get mad at me if I just listed. I'd list every single guy on the team. I'd list every guy in the practice squad. I mean, it's just fun walking in the locker room before the game. It's, it's, it's tense, man. We had energy. These guys are coming off. They played four nights ago, four days ago, in a, in a tough game, a disappointing loss, a fourth quarter loss, right? They didn't listen to any of what you all wrote, you know? They didn't pay attention to you. you know, they listen. And uh, to us, not to you. <laughs> and uh, they just got ready to play a really important division game on Thursday night at home. And they do it, man. And they work. And they just play hard. And they care. They care about each other. And they want to do it for each other. You know, that's what a team is all about. And I just love every one of these guys. And bring up the Dafe, it makes me think about him and everybody else. I right. do too. John started his press conference by Thomas that it looks like Mark could be out for the season and on the severity of his ankle just off the bat. I mean, a guy that you trusted a lot and gone through a lot with, how, how is that hitting you right now? That's very tough, bro. I was just telling the uh, crew out there, primetime crew, uh, that, that's the guy who I you know, entered the league with, you know, bread and butter, you know, with each other, whatever you want to call it. But that's very tough because that's my boy. That's like, Receiver one sometimes, you know, and for him to go out first quarter, you know, and even having a remarkable year, one touchdown away from a record, I think, that's that's tough, man. But we got it, we got it. Somebody do it without him. We got Likely, we got, we got Charlie, we got guys who want to step up, but it's tough. You're, you mentioned between Burn and Yellow with you and Mark. What's it going to take for uh, – you to kind of get on nickname level with, with your receivers, obviously. Nelson getting a touchdown, then I can shot getting a touchdown. Well, we'll see as, as the season go on, you know. I was just saying whatever you guys want to call it with me and Mark because our connections be, it be you know, there. But uh, we'll see, you know, when the nickname start rolling, man. We'll hey, Lamar, how do you describe this victory and environment on Thursday night? How do I describe it? A must win. You know, we, we really needed that after the, the defeat to the Browns, what we, you know, we went through uh, Sunday, a couple of days, a few days ago. Um, but I, I like how our team responded and bounced back, you know, uh, Thursday night under the, this crazy crowd we had. You know, it was electrifying tonight. Uh, I think I had to tell them, like, calm down a little bit. You know, um, our crowd just, it was outrageous tonight, and we enjoyed it. Um, but we're looking forward. We're looking forward to it, you know, throughout the season. Mar, you were definitely – Visibly lengthy a couple times, made a trip to the tent. How are you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. You know, coach gave us a few days off, extra days off, so I feel like I'll be good for um, the Chargers. 
Can you take us through what happened on that on that play? I mean, was was there a moment in the tent where you were worried or I mean, no? I'm trying to get back out there. I'm telling them I'm good, you know. But they're gonna do what they do to try to get us back on that field fast as they could. You know, but I'm good. So I mean, how did you add on your on your ankle? So you were you were wearing a blue sort of wrap on your ankle. Is that heat? Yeah. yeah, it was a heat pack. But I'm good. What do we need to stop talking about his ankle? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked up here. I'm good. We're going to talk that into existence, you know, speak that into existence. I'm good. Well, you've been trying to work on that connection with Odell all year. Do you feel like it's finally starting to play? Yeah, I believe so. You know, as we keep going, you know, keep practicing, keep getting better each and every week, um, and him keep doing what he's doing, you know, I feel like I can just be you know, skyrocketing. Lamar, uh, a couple days ago, Deshaun Watson. They announced that he's done for the year. See Joe Burrow. We leave the tonight's game as someone who's been through injuries. I mean, how do you kind of make sense of guys in the division falling? But you know. I mean, I'm not happy that those guys get injured. You know, I don't want to see nobody in the league get injured, and especially the season in the injury, um, because those guys got to feed their family just like I do. You know, those guys are quarterbacks as well. Even though we're going against each other, division rivals, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I don't want to see nobody go down with a season and an injury. Pray God on that side, you know, um, and keep God first at all times, and hopefully those guys have a safe and speedy recovery. Lamar, you seem to react right away to the Andrews play. Did you sense by the way it was tackled that it was serious right off the bat? Uh, I pretty much seen it. Uh, I was hoping he was going to get up, you know, how he do. But when he was down, he was just laying there, like, with that confused look on his face. I was like, damn, that's my boy. You know, I don't want to see that happen to nobody. Not to sound but that's my point. When you lose, when you lose, like you said, you know, sometimes you're wide receiver one, sometimes with them. I mean, how big of a challenge is it going forward? Uh, not, not going to have that. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be. I believe it'll be a huge challenge. You know, but we, like I said, we have Charlie and Mike and those guys and stuff up, and they've been playing their tail off as well. You know, um, but we're going to build chemistry. And it's going to be like. I don't want to say it's going to be like Mark. Not there, you know, but he's not going to be there because you know, it's a season and Andrew, but those guys are going to step up. <coughs> Lamar, we saw you scramble a couple of times and go to hit the ground in a totally different way you've done it in the past. Is that to try to avoid getting that extra hit? Because you were, you were rolling and spinning and, you know, falling to the ground. Yeah, you know, I was just playing it safe. I don't want to get hit, you know, <laughs> um, a crazy hit. Just trying to get as yard, much, much yards as I could and just get down, you know, there for the next week. That's all. Lamar, how beneficial could this stretch be where you only have one game in 23 days? I can't call it, Jeff. You know, we just got to win this game, so that's, um, this upcoming game. We um, had about a week and just see how it goes. But hopefully, we keep keep our foot on the gas. We'll do two more. Lamar, what was your one of the, the Aguilar touchdown. Say again? The deflection on the Aguilar touchdown. What did you see? <laughs> <laughs> when uh, I see Zay, Zay doing like a, a middle post, I'm trying to zip it in there in a, in a little small window. Pratt, you know, he deflected the ball, but Nelly did the right thing by, you know, telling that play in. He was all to the races. He was flying. You know, it's a Florida boy. You know, we got him known for speed. So <laughs> he turned on the chest. He, <laughs> he did his thing. Did you give him some tips on how to do the flip on that time? Nah, he, he needed to give me some tips on how to do the flip because last time I did it, I, I hit my, my butt. <laughs> and I landed. Uh, so uh, he needed to give me some lessons because he did a whole somersault flip. That was crazy. All right, great. thanks, Lamar. Appreciate it. How do you feel physically um, look like your shoulder is you know, very sweet? Um, like Coach said, you know, it's not that bad. That's, you know, that's what he said. That's got to toughen it up, you know what I mean? And, and um, we'll figure it out. What uh, Coach also said about Mark uh, Andrews, uh, it looks like season eight. Yeah. Um, we got the news while we're in here, and it's just uh, it's just tough. It's the hardest part about this game. You know, these guys put in endless hours of work, rehab. You know, the things that people don't see, they only see the final product. Um, you know, for, for a guy like Mark, I know exactly. You know, he's in the training room. He's always getting he's getting his work. He's, you know, in the weight room. Um, so it's just tough. So just as brothers, you know, you got to be there for him. I've been through it. Um, it's not easy. Uh, so just, you know, it's very unfortunate. It's a big hit for this team. Mark has been an integral part of this 
you know, team since him and Lamar have been here. So um, you know, we just got to find a way to uh, step up. But you know, right now, I think the moment is is to be with with him in spirit and um, you know, prayers up for his his mental and um, prayer over his heart. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no one guy replaces what Mark does, but um, you know. Nelson scoring a touchdown, Rashad scoring a touchdown, you go to 100 yards, do so you think that's a sign of where the chemistry that Lamar has with the receiving core is going? Uh, it's just a step in the right direction. You know, we, we, we could sit up here and, you know, the game could have went a complete another way and the questions might be different. So um, try not to put too much into uh, the moments and just be grateful for them and what they are. But I definitely think that um, there's guys in this receiver room who, who can make plays, but um, there's never no replacement. It's not even what Mark does on a stat standpoint. It's just who he is as a person for um, this team. So my prayers go to him. Um, like I say, praying over his, his mental and, and his heart. Odell, do you Odell, feel like you're starting to get into a groove in this offense the last two weeks, a touchdown tonight over 100 yards? How are you feeling in this offense? Just keeping my head down, um, continuing to work. Uh, early on in the season, I was, I was hurting. I just couldn't be myself. I didn't have the explosion. I couldn't moved the way that I wanted to and I don't think people really knew you know what I was dealing with and it just was like it just was hard for me to come out and you know speak on it um, nor will I speak on it really now it's just more about you know moving forward um, being being the very best that I could be for this team and however I can make plays to help us get wins uh, I got to do that uh, still upset about the you know the blocking um, on Z like I mean me and my mom talk about this all the time you can score all the touchdowns in the world but we talk about that moment where you spring the block for, for your boy to score, your brother to score. Um, and it's just, it's unfortunate. You know, I was I was the happiest, you know, just seeing him on the jumble trying to run and scoring. So, um, you know, just got to find ways for the, for the boys in the room to make plays. Odell, to, to sweep Cincinnati this year and to move to 83 in this division, um, what does this win mean for this team overall? Um, you know, it, it's a big divisional win. Um, I've been in this division. I've been on the other side playing against the Ravens, so I know how, how tough this division is as a whole. Um, but it's just a good step in the right direction for you know where where we want to go. Um, got some time to, to recover and heal, and you know got a big big game in LA, and then you know you get a bye week. So this season was set up perfectly um, to to you know have some success, and and hopefully we we get the opportunity to make a run. What does it say about uh, for Lamar? I mean, he, he got banged up at the end of the first quarter with that ankle. For him to kind of cut this one out. I mean, we all know who, we all know who he is. You know what I mean? There's no ever questioning his toughness. Um, I didn't think for a moment that he wouldn't be coming back in. It just might, you know, how many plays? One play is two plays. You know what I mean? He's he he's uh he's the leader of this team, and you know everybody feeds off him. So we seen him come back out, and it makes you like whatever you have going on, and you feel like you're hurting, like. He's out there, like we, we all got to be out there. So, uh, it's a big leadership moment, you know, by him. But I definitely wouldn't expect him to come out, not on a game like that. Odell, what's your reaction to Rashad getting his first touchdown of the season, I told knowing him. the adversity he's been through? I'm not gonna, I'm not taking the credit, but I told him tonight was gonna be the night. You know, he, you know, you just need those things to get that, that monkey off your back. Um, and I'm just so happy for him. Just to see him smile, you know, the, we work so hard. And again, like I was saying earlier, people don't see the the little things that you do, um, you know, all for that moment to score a touchdown, the, the hours of rehab outside the building, the, you know, preparation, um, sacrifice and dedication, all those things. So I was so happy for him. Um, I was happy for Nelly. I feel like I'm happy but disappointed because I know Zay was supposed to have one. Um, you know, the, the, the guys in the receiver room, we would do – you know, for a big game. So I'm just happy for all of them. Uh, uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work that goes into it. Okay, you mentioned the last that one. explosion or lack of really in the season. Yeah. You, was it noticeable your speed these last couple of weeks to you? Did you feel an uptick there? I don't know. You might have to ask the other team. See. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I feel better personally. Um, it was very hard for me early in the season. Um, the best thing that, you know, DaCosta and Harbs did, we were playing the Bengals last time, and they were like just – it's a long season, just sit down, and that changed the entire trajectory of, of my season. I had the time to you know, get my legs underneath me, and um, it's, you know, we're just trying to go up from here. Thank you so much. I try to look at the problem, so I just, I know, you know, what I can be on the one side. You know, like getting more, you know, warmed up, and, you know, just honing on my technique. You know, I was out for like a month, so 
you know, I don't blame it on that. I got to be more focused on other things, but I like where I'm at. Adafi, how big was this win really for you guys? Uh, it was real big. We knew what type of what type of game what type of game it was. Playoff implications. Um, you know, Joe back there. You know, it's just it's just a team that you know we always want to try to beat. Obviously, coming back from the loss too. So uh, that's why you saw the type of energy that we brought. I'm glad you got. Yeah, well, you mentioned the lo- coming back from the loss. What does that say about this team, the character, the resilience to just you know four days later basically and play like this? Um, that's like Super Bowl strength um, in terms of mentality. So. Uh, we knew that we let one slip, and we weren't gonna let that. We weren't, we weren't gonna let that happen. Again. So um, we get kudos to Row, the leaders of the defense, and the leaders of the offense as well for you know, getting the guys you know, ready, prepared. And we, at the fourth quarter, when we, actually when we went into halftime, we knew what we had to do. We, we couldn't let it slip away. Let it stay focused. Uh, I appreciate the guys for the same like that. So, I mean, how would you describe the impact the crowd had on the game? You know, a couple of false, you know, delay game communication stuff. Uh, I mean, that's a bank, you know, always loud, always, you know, have an opinion on stuff like that. So, you know, we, we appreciate them. We appreciate them, you know, stopping in uh, Joe's rhythm. Um, it's always good to have that. And they're always at our back, you know, whenever uh, a big play happens, you can just feel the energy. Like after my sack, I just felt the energy. You made me want to play stronger, play, play, play faster, play, play even better. So, you know, I really appreciate the bank. How, 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 you know, pleasing is it for you to be making these plays? I mean, you, you come back and you've kind of been, on fire. Yeah, um, you know, it was tough, obviously, um, last year and then um, getting injured. You know, I felt like I was hitting my stride, but um, you know, I just thank God, you know, I'm making plays, I'm leaving a little bit on the table as well, but, you know, that's just more to build on, and um, I'm just blessed to be here. Yeah, right I mean, I scored, and they, they kind of called me, everybody was calling me, so I went ahead and yeah. Two wins over Cincinnati, division rival. Um, what it means for this team to be in this position now in this division. So I think it was, a, it was a it was a win that we needed at this time, you know. Um we kind of felt like a playoff atmosphere out there. Uh, it's a team that always plays us hard and um, we played a great game in, in, in all phases and um, we gotta keep building up this momentum. You know uh, what Mark Andrews does for this team, coach mentioned that he might not play again this year. Just uh, the impact of that news uh, on a team that's otherwise doing pretty well. It's real crushing, you know. Um, like I've been saying that's one of our leaders, um, one of our best players. Uh, it's a guy that we would love to have out there. Um, but uh, gonna say a prayer for him, and I know that with, with his work ethic, that he'll be back and he'll be there. not gonna miss a, a, a beat. You know. Gus, what is that that's going so well for you right now? I mean, you're, you've been kind of on the roll here the last several weeks. What, what is going so well for you right now? I think, um, like I said, I feel like we're playing good football. You know, we're playing. Great balance. Um, the run game is coming together. Um, we've been putting a lot of emphasis on that red zone and how we have to get points there. And um, everybody's been coming together and making it, making it a must a must thing. How have you kind of describe your mentality in the red zone? It seems like you've kind of been an answer for the offense down there. Mentality is all. Man. Just, when my name is called upon. Just gotta do my best. You know, I'm um, blowing my pads and get in there. That's what they they, they want me here for. And that's what I gotta do. You're scoring a lot of touchdowns. Are guys pressuring you to get more creative with your touchdown celebrations? Yeah, they are. They, are. <laughs> they, want, to, they want to get a dance out of me, but you know that's not really my thing. Maybe one day, though. You know? <laughs>